Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to create local groups and manage local groups in Windows 7 using the local users and groups feature of computer management. So let's start by launching computer management. I'm going to click on the start button and I like the shortcut of right clicking computer and left clicking manage. This opens computer management quickly and easily. From here we're going to expand local users and groups and then we will click on groups. You'll see that inside of groups there are several built-in groups already waiting for us as well as data users which is a group I've added. There's no description. To create additional groups right click on groups and left click on new group and I'm going to create a group called accounting. So I type accounting in. I can give it a description if I'd like. and then I'll click on create. I'm going to go ahead and create another group and we'll call this group bookkeeping. And we'll click on create. I don't want to create any more groups so I'll close this window now. So my two groups are there, accounting and bookkeeping. If I would like to add users into either the accounting group or the bookkeeping group, I can do that by double clicking on the group and there's a members section that have no members active and I can click the add button. The add button is going to go ahead and give me the opportunity to type in the names of the users I'd like to add. If I'm not sure of the user's name I can click on the advanced button and find now and this will give me a list of the users on this particular computer. So let's add Rocky by double clicking on Rocky and clicking OK. So Rocky is now a member of the accounting group and then we'll click OK. You can also do this in the other direction by going to the users folder and picking a user. In this case let's find BK-CL1. You can double click on BK-CL1, go to the member of tab. Right now BK-CL1 is a member of administrators and users. I can add BK-CL1 into additional groups by clicking the add button and once again if I'm not sure what the names of the groups are in this computer and I'd rather select them from a list I can click the advanced button and find now and now you'll see that bookkeeping is in the list and if I double click on bookkeeping and click OK I've now added BK-CL1 into the bookkeeping group. So we'll click OK on that and let's go back to groups and double click on bookkeeping and sure enough BK-CL1 is a member of the bookkeeping group. So I'll click OK and then we will close computer management. This is the end of my demo on how to create local groups and add local users into local groups. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.